Peter. A big day, huh? Don't expect too much. It's all in a mess. If only we'd had another month. Not a chance. Looks good. I mean, he looks as terrible as ever, but stronger. Why didn't they tear it down? Carly. Well, it would have been better. They had to dig up most of it, rip out floors, replace nearly all the timber. It wasn't much worth keeping. Carly, he found it. Even so. Himself. I mean, I can understand about the park there. At least it's big, but this. Ah, uh, he liked the style of it. My God. One look, that's all he needed. His mind was made up. He said it spoke to him. It spoke to him, so it did. I know what it said. Mr. Ryan, for pity's sake, don't knock me down. He could have built from new at half the cost. How long have you been down here? Three, four months. You got someone stashed away in there? Hmm? Why not? Hardly. Quite like it. It's quite stuck. <laughs> Eddie Holmes was a great help. Most of your gear and position. Got you over the spare. Nice. He's a good man, Eddie. Hi, Peter. Setting a good example. Conscientious boss, always the first in. You see what I got? A bunch of kids. Master. We want the You lot. You missed all the fun, Jill. You sacrificed the Martian. Yes, you're late. It's the bride's privilege. I beg your pardon. You're shaking. I was nearly in an accident. Oh, where? Outside here. I had a sort of momentary. I don't know. Blackout is the usual word. Wasn't that? You should have been with me. I should have been driving you. I'm sorry I couldn't make last night. Please. So now you'll get accident prone. Hmm? Nothing happened. Welcome to Taskerland. Thank you. It doesn't look much now, but wait till it's finished, then you get the full horror. Don't put them off. Everybody know Roy Collinson, house master and bunny mother? <laughs> Any problems connected with the move, finding digs in the area, housing wives and harem, oh, seek so Collie. Why is it called that? Taskerland. Yes, what's it mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was uh, built by a man called Tasker. Original, like well, it, like it. Thank like it. And these were his lands. He made a fortune out of iron railings. It's not ancient, then, Mark. Sorry to disappoint. No, it was built about 1880. <laughs> Mostly owned by the one family, requisitioned during the Second World War by the American forces, derelict ever since. Oh right, no, let's butter their paws. I mean, Lift, soon to operate, I hope. My office is up there. And very palatial. Of course, Ooh. a wibby boss. Reception desk with Sergeant Patterson. Ooh. Sergeant, get to know these faces. Hmm? I know some already, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here on, we're secret. So no chums in, no parties in the canteen, which, by the way, is through there and extremely decent. And working. Lose that way, also working. Right, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. This is lab one. Soon there'll be two others like it to spread into. And if that's not enough, there are 500 acres outside. Thinking. Who else is coming here? Nobody, just us. But it's enormous. We'll get bigger. I'll expand the team with people I choose, hand-picked, the best. Same as you're the best. Aye, uh, flattery, Pete. Get some a lot of places. Yeah. This lot. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Good to all that. What about the others, the washing machine crowd? Here. Forget it. What, that lot here? No! Can't you get it through your heads, your special, oh. incredible as that may seem you are? <laughs> I'll spell it out for you. This place is ours. It is all for us. Because we are on the big one. 
Do you want a pep talk? Is that what you want? About the Japs. Oh, oh. Well, he, he's a bit simple. He's brilliant, but simple. Cliff, it is always <laughs> about the Japs. In ten years' time, they're going to have us by whatever part of our anatomy they pick. <laughs> there will be no electronics industry anywhere in the world but theirs, unless... I think we've got a good chance. We've only got one chance. We've got to play a card so high they can't top it. Ah, so! A completely new recording medium. Oh, so. Out here in honourable pocket. Oh, shut up, Stuart. <laughs> Oh, what about tape? Look Tape's right. finished. Well, it's still in. No, really it's can... day is done. Magnetic tape is compact, responsive. All the sales shut up says it is. Also, delicate and prone to lose its memory. Like Clifford here. <laughs> <laughs> As you so <laughs> rightly say. Now, it's time, gentlemen, for a breakthrough. Just record me, say, the whole of Wagner's ring cycle inside a ball bearing, with instant playback, of course. Can <laughs> you give it to lunchtime? <laughs> and you can name your own royalties. Oh, it is royalties, then. Yep. Forget about bonuses. You'll be right in there. Got his word on it. Himself? Yesterday. <whistles> Just put the boots in old Nippon, is how he delicately phrased it. So if you want to be millionaires, it's a crash program. Find the medium. Everything else follows. Hardware? We'll take the lot. Computers, TV, home recordings, satellites, they all follow. Then Ryan Electrics becomes Ryan International, becomes Ryan Interspatial. It's up to you. I love this man's modesty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Eddie, you find all your junk in familiar order. Hmm. Disorder? <laughs> Obviously, sorry. All this string? <laughs> <laughs> now your pet projects are going as before. Eddie's digital crystal and so on. But we're going to try something new. We'll correlate all results together. What if there's no connection? The computer might spot that. Oh, oh, so every clue counts. Puts a lot on the program, huh? Now Jill's ready. She's going to try something very sophisticated. Projections, extrapolations, a sort of randomized mix with an accelerated uncertainty principle. How's that? Something of the sort. Mm. You all right? Yes, I... Uh, what about data storage? Are these all we've got? Got it. Computer storage room. When do we get it? Ah, uh, yes. Well, um... What? There have been problems. You were here to solve them. Collie, how much have they done? Nothing. Let me see. <laughs> hey, that's... Sweet. 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 months and not a single... Why didn't you report it? I knew there were reasons they had to finish the priority job. Carly, this was priority. To be fair, it wasn't in phase one. Refacing and air conditioning and wiring, did they just forget it? No. Nope. What then? Problems with the men, they claimed it was, well, I don't know, dirty job. Yeah, there's, there's dry rot. They think it's catching. Look at these panels. Got to shift the lot in half an hour. Yes, they saw those. So? They don't lead anywhere. Oh, surely that wasn't. What else did they find? A skeleton? No, about 30 tins of spam, as a matter of fact. Spam? And a letter to Father Christmas. U.S. Army issue. Doubt if it's fit now. They must have got forced in through the paneling. The Yanks used this for a store. They did a khaki. Trying to quell the rot. Even then? It was empty before the war. When the rock gets really going like this, they call it weeping. Weeping fungus. Good word. Christmas Eve. Mm. Oh, yes, that's it. What I want for Christmas. Kids writing. Even the stones got it. It's just very old. 1880? That was when they panelled it in, but those walls are a lot older than the rest of the house. They've just been built onto. In fact, they must have been knocked down and rebuilt and generally mess around a lot in the last thousand years. What? Oh, yes, the foundations might be Saxon. Saxon? Just an amateur opinion. Oh, my God. Informed amateur. 
If you're right, you see what this means, don't you? They'll be in here, the environment boys, the conservationists, nailing their little notices on the door and writs, and they could stop everything if they got onto this. What about the architect? That architect? Didn't he spot anything? Not him, he quit. Right. If we move fast, get everything concreted over, get the machines moved in. Where are the men now? Working on the back. Come on. Don't worry, love. You'll get your storage room. Hold it! I'm sorry I didn't listen to you before. Tell me about it. Uh, what? The accident. Oh, it wasn't that. Now, oh, come on, tell me. I, I hit a pile of sand, that's all. There were some vans and I, I couldn't have been watching it. Oh, I hate it here. I didn't want to come here. No. No, you didn't. Here. Give me the wet hanky. Not the hanky. Oh, that's a Father Christmas letter. What I want for Christmas is please go away. Martin Tasker. Well? Not what you'd say. Oh, I don't know. One of my kids is like that. I hate the idea of him coming down the chimney. It wasn't a Father Christmas. Who then? I know. I think I know. Oh, what do you think of the place? They done a bit since we came around that time. All the shelving and everything. I quite liked it even without the shelving, didn't you? You know what this is about? You're getting at me. Mind you, I quite enjoyed your previous ploys. How Christine and the kids, how Timothy's mumps, how's the dog's toothache. Oh, my Jilly, you're a very female one. I need you. I know you weren't keen to transfer, but I need you for your brain. Now, if you're in any doubt, you ask Eddie and the boys. Um, what's in here is so rare and valuable. Do it your own way. You commute home to old mummy or stay here. Stay. Hmm? Sometimes, anyway. I saw a ghost. We'll get out of here for a while. Leave Collie to fight the labor relations, huh? Let's go. One super, one lager. One for yourself. Oh, tar. No, thank you. Is it really true they're making poison gas up there? Well, we aren't. It's what I heard. Not a whiff. I mean germs. You know what I mean. Do you know the place? No, I've only been here a month. Well, that'll be with the bread, one pound eighty p. Oh. 
I mean, it won't do us any good. People, they don't like that sort of thing. It's nothing bad. We all know what secret means. Cheers. Cheers. I believe it's been made very nice. Do you know it? Well, I used to, sort of. You went there? Not actually in. It was during the war when the Yanks were there. I was a good time girl. <laughs> the rape for you. Yes. Well, why not? They was nice boys. And the nylons. Did they talk about it? About the house? Mm. It was all generals and people. Some in quarters. Eisenhower was there once. No, I mean what it was like inside. No, no. Very posh, I expect. Oh, there was one boy. Oh, it was a proper caution, he was. He said, Oh, now let me think. Oh, dear. He had all them funny words, you see. He was a coloured boy. Oh. Oh, I know. Guppy. He said there were guppies in the store where he worked. <laughs> guppies are fish. Tropical. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Duppies? He must have meant rats. Oh, you don't know, Alan. Tuscaland's full of rats. He used to play up there when I was a kid. Oh, yes. You and that Jackie. Yes, old Jackie. We used to do dares. The end room. Do you know it? Yes. Stand there in the dark long enough, you'd hear them all noising about and squealing. Did you see them? What was there to see? But they was behind the woodwork. <laughs> Who else would know about it? About the house? Uh, you've seen the parish radio spurts? Uh, not, not many taskers there among the births and marriages. They were not statistically prominent. But apart from the registers, I... I we're really wasting don't... your valuable time. No, please. It's quite all right if I can only I just be thought a... there might be something more personal about the family and the house. Ah, yes. Uh, oh. Uh, old servants. Now, who on earth would want to hear uh, today about... Did you about... know them, the taskers? Eh? Oh, they'd all gone before I came. Died out. Well, that last one was a recluse, I believe. Now... There must be some odds and ends from my predecessor's time, I fancy, somewhere here. Uh, you know, it came to me the other day about pollution. It's the modern rediscovery of sin. Well, it's the only form it can take in a materialist world. All the rubbish and mess. Now, that's the new wickedness, and they can see it. The sudden conviction of, well, of, of non-returnable bottles, eh? Yes, yes, I do like Then sackcloth and ashes, oh, plenty of ashes. I think we'd better be going on. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, it was just a thought. Yes, well, I uh, come again and perhaps by Thanks again anyway. I may... Hmm? Uh, they must have been funny people. There was something about an exorcism once. Exorcism? Now, I can't approve of that. I know it's in the prayer book, but oh, dear, dear. You do mean laying a ghost? Well, it was either there or... Who now was it? Uh, I may be maligning them. When was it? Oh, long, long ago. Uh, I feel I'm obsolete, but not sinful. I cause so little pollution apart from TVs. My hens eat those up. In. How'd it go? Well, I made a start clearing the old panelling out. I'm just uh, making a report. I'd leave them to it. They were decidedly tricky. Any reason given? Nope. I just don't like it. Come in, have a drink. Yeah, that's a good idea. How's it feel now? I'll send her home. Just as well. Nasty shake. No, it's just the car. Huh? Bloody wind. I've um, only admired her from afar, but I'd say that she's the type that hurts easily. Collie, were there any rats? Where? In that end room. No. Any sign there'd been any? Rats wouldn't have left that scram. They'd have chewed those tins open in no time. They could do that? The teeth of a hungry rat. <laughs> Here. Cheers. Mm. I've got some work to finish. I think I might stop over tonight. 
Break in the director's suite a bit, eh? I was up in town last week. Dropped in on the legal department. One or two things I wanted to clear up about the house here, covenants and so on. They've got boxes and boxes of stuff. Passed over by the trustees, I suppose. I brought one back. One or two curiosities in it. How do you like this? Application for holding a service of exorcism. What? August 1892. Missing. Full record of the alleged haunting, evidence, I suppose. Louisa Hanks. That's her. There's also a report of her death. Eighteen ninety, two years before. Sad mishap at Tuscalands. Louisa Hanks, undermaid in the employ of Mr. Horace Tasker yesterday, fell to her death from a flight of steps while engaged about her duties. That's all. Pretty good press for an undermaid in those days. Huh? And they thought that Or more than thought. They kept a note of all the dates and times, went on doing it for ages afterwards. You see, the ghost laying didn't take. Collie, have you seen it? Only heard. Christine. Hello, honey. I'm still at this place. I won't be home. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I've eaten. All I should. Yeah. How's, uh, how's what's his name? The horse. Yeah, yeah, Chuffy. Yeah, yeah. It, was it inside the hoof? Yeah. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Love to the kids, then. Bye, darling. Try going down two nanoseconds. Down two. Right. I've got something to tell you all. We got a ghost. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Peter. Every home should have one. Every station should have one. And be worried, this uh, lack of class. Not a chance. Talk to them yourself? Yes, I did. Push it any further, there'll be a general walkout. 
That's it then. What's this about, Peter? Well, you did say ghost. Oh, silly word. Don't be put off by it. Call it a phenomenon if you like. Anyway, it's real. He's got possession of the computer storage room and it stopped all work there. <laughs> oh, the men won't go back. They were going on about something in the canteen. Yes, I thought it was the muck. Yeah, I wondered. Well, whatever it is, I've heard it. Collie's heard it. And Jill's seen it. Jill? Is that what got you? Yes. What did you see? A woman. Oh, come off me. No, really. No, she's not kidding. None of us are. Hey, let's go in there. Hey, why not? God, I'm not scared. Just hold my hand, dude. All right, thanks for the enthusiasm, because I intend to use it. What do you mean, Peter? They once had a guard it with bell, book and candle. Well, we're rather better equipped. I'm going to chuck the lot at it. Do you mean go after it with electronics and then... Find out exactly what makes it. Well, it doesn't tick. It patters its feet and screeches. Yeah. Everything we get, Jill's going to program in the computer. Analyze a spook. Well, eh? let's say it's a mass of data waiting for a correct interpretation. No one's ever managed it before. I think we might. Can you spare the time? No choice, Collie. It's got us stuck. Hi, I'm Tra eating fungus. Yeah, all over the place. Right down the walls now, isn't it? Yeah, this is still strong here. Which might be? Stereo. Where did you see? Near the top of the steps. Where she fell off. There must have been an upper floor where those holes are. Do you suppose she was going up to it? No, it was total ruin when Tarsk aboard. It's all in the deeds. He just roofed it and patched it and made it part of the house. It's sort of folly. You know? Then where was she going? Probably a big aspidistra up there, and she had to water it. And died. Yeah. Odd, that. You'd have thought she'd just break a leg or something. It's not high enough. What's the sound? High enough yeah. for poor Louisa. And then they panelled it over to hide it all. Big echo in here, Stuart. We ought to measure it. Now, something to make a loud noise with. Yeah. What's all this? Well, it's Somebody to be feeding the ghost. Perhaps they were. I think I'll get my coat. Oh, get mine, will you? Oh, spare us with it. What? What do you say? These ghostly shivers. No, I... It's just chilly. Why, don't you feel it? Oh, do you mind? How's that? All right, I'll take it. All right. Testing room wavelength, take one. Stop it! Oh, stop it! All right, Eddie, that's enough. <laughs> That was it. That was it. It was by the steps. No, it, was it was by the door. No, no, it, it wasn't. It. Oh, what did you hear? Get over here. I'm not crazy. You can hardly hear it. It was deafening. It wasn't loud. Not loud. I heard it. Just close. That's right. There's no perspective on it. But what did you hear? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't hear a thing. I saw her again. Same place? No, there. White clothes. Solid? Yes, quite solid. Was she moving? I think so. There was something wrong, the way she moved. How? Sort of twisting. Let's hear it again, Cliff. Testing room wavelength, take one. Stop it! Oh, stop it! All right, Eddie, that's enough. Up there. Didn't record. I got them on my headphones. Look, I don't get this. Hey, let me test this thing. She got away. No, only when I went into the room. Tom. Well, I just can't stand a woman who screams. Soft-hearted. 
was with my wife in a car crash. Killed? No. Divorced. Might have something to do with it. But, um, well, this is even worse in a way. Worse? Well, a living person in that pain, you can try and help them. But here you can't. I'm going to be very old and stuffy and say, drop the whole thing. No. If you really see something, it must mean extra sensitivity. I'm a medium. Well, that makes it sound ridiculous. Knocks on the table, one for yes, two for no. I'm serious. Get all Collie's data on file and stand by to take real time from next door. Okay. Jill, can you start blocking something out, heuristic stuff? Those who won't touch it, book time on the central computer. If you need to get through to Chicago. All in code, Collie. It stays our little secret. Who pays? Himself. Sure, he'd love it if he knew. There's a full account of the first um, yep. five years from 1890 and also the past six months. Okay, well, what about the bit in between, the odd 80 years? We got a witness. Cameras? What's all this stuff? What's it for? I told you, ignore it. I didn't want to come. Just a few simple questions. They won't take long. You remember this room? Oh, I was just a kid. You did come in here. Well, I suppose so. You're not sure? Well, I did then. How often? We, we, we knew we weren't right. How many men. times? I don't know. In a year, say. Ten times? A dozen? You said between 1952 and 1955. Maybe a total of, what, 30 visits? Did you get that, Stu? I got it. And you heard rats? Sometimes. Only sometimes? Well, nearly every time, if we waited. Nearly every time. We, we, we made these dares out of it, see? Old, old rats are dirty customers, they'll go for you. We used to fool about all over the house, smash it up a bit, You're you know. You're a country lad, you know the sound rats make. I reckon we must have bust all the windows. Real bad we were. We used to... See, you could find a pane of glass, still whole, and smash. Cost you a lot to put it right, did it? Look, look, I, I better go now. There'll be trouble if I don't get back. That old cow down there, she... I, I reckon I'll just get along. It's there. Can't you hear it? nothing to him. It was the door got stuck. That door. He was inside the room. We never meant... We couldn't help it, could we? He's all right, old Jackie. Did he see it? He made out it spoke to him. And then the others come. The others? It was just his talk, see? What happened to him? He's all right. He's got this job, hasn't he? Can I meet him? What for? He don't remember. They took him up the county. Where? The county, you know. They put him right. They can do that. 
He don't care a button. He just laughs all the time. He's all right. Hey, hang on, I got a car. Reception? Yes, he is. Mr. Ryan's officer. Brock. Oh, hello, hello, my love. How are you? Yeah, we're settling in fine. Fine. Crawshaw. But that's all settled. There's no question. There just isn't room for him here. Talk to him. Look, I don't, I don't want to see the man. I'm right in the middle of an experiment. Is he there? Himself, the old grey widow maker. No, when will he be back? All right then, under duress. Tomorrow. Bye. Hell! Experiment. I don't know what you'd call that, the time since she died. Quasi-life. All right, quasi-life. During it, she must have made 8,000 appearances minimum. Sound only? Yes. In vision, about a tenth as many. Sounds a hell of a lot. Well, spread over all those years, it isn't. And there's a cyclic factor, bursts of activity. 1905 looks a good year, all around there. The time of the letter? Yeah, it could be. What letter? The letter to Father Christmas, except that it wasn't. From Martin Tasker, aged eight, later to die a recluse. You see that? Concentrated patches of haunting. Can we scrap that word? What, haunt? Yes. It blows in his mind. Gets in the way, like all the jokey talk. Sort of ghost eating toast, halfway up a lamppost. Oh, boom. shut up! Eddie's right. Let's cut out all the loaded words. Ghost, spook, apparition, phantom. This isn't some little shade that couldn't get into heaven because the pearly gates were shut. It's something else. Something interesting. You don't want her to be alive. Do you think it is? No. Well then. I might be wrong. Oh, is anybody here religious? I don't mean that. Just respect. For her, I suppose. Old Louisa? She wasn't old. She was 19. You've demolished her. I know you love I know the way your mind works. You're on the track of something that serves her up as a very dry dish indeed, and you feel funny about it. Come on, give. Yes, it's very good time. Yes, come on. Well, it's just the first rough model. I took the sudden coldness as basic. A temperature drop of at least three degrees, or we wouldn't notice it. Fair enough. Well, taking the volume of air in that room, and varying times from 10 to 90 seconds, what we get is a power flow of between 20 and 200 kilowatts a minute. A heat pump? Oh, a furnace in reverse. Did you see what's coming out here? Heat drawn rapidly from the surroundings and concentrated. Ionization? Hot spots forming in the air. Like fireballs. Converting into other forms of energy. Sound waves, light. It'd be quite a process, crude energy forming itself into regular, recognizable patterns. I don't know. Eddie. Well, let's make a practical start. Trace these hot spots, see if they exist. Hot spots. Now we've got heat sensors and we can do it. Two stages, a broad scan, then home in. Now, there is the crossover stage, but we can improvise there. Come on then. Lead me to the cash bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eddie likes it. <laughs> Early warning. Any quick temperature change, and this light comes on. Now, four of these should cover the whole... Watch it! <laughs> Following in Louisa's footsteps, eh? One's enough. No. Oh, I don't buy it either. I've never felt cold in there. Never once. Not a goose pimple. And you're skinny. You're a natural shiverer. Shit. Wrap up warm stew, me mum always says. Stuck another bug. OK, rerun. How's it going? Trying more variables? There are some we've missed. Such as? The strength of people's reaction. To it? Everyone's is different. 
One hears it loud, another hardly at all. Why? That's what you'd expect. Strength of faculties, like eyesight or hearing. And what about Stu? Yeah, I still don't get a thing. Why, he's, uh, he's ghost-proof, like colour-blind. Good. I'm running a fresh programme and I'm putting him in it. What? I'm running Stu as a parameter. Frame at last. What's the idea? Any significant. Oh. Oh, don't mind me. Suppose Stu was your only witness. In that case, would she walk? Do you see what I mean? Would she walk for him? You and Jill. No warning. Huh. Now it works. I saw her face this time. She's so frightened. She's running from something. The footsteps. Always running. Probably old task of coming to pinch her bum. Three times round the table and the girl is mine. Ah. She died. It's really getting to you, isn't it? Jill. <sighs> to be afraid like that. You afraid of all this? No, I don't think so. What then? It's just the thought of it. Of there being nothing left of you but just enough to repeat the worst moment of your life over and over again. That doesn't happen. But if it did, if we she knew... We talked about it. We all agreed... Could there be a... anything there that knows? Not in my book. Just a dead mechanism? That's all there is left. Well, it's horrible. But it's better than knowing. I couldn't bear it if she knew. There, there. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, Peter. Be so alone. All right, that's it. You said it and got it over with. Your moment of superstition. It wasn't. What, you need another drink? Come on. Christine, darling, yeah. I meant to ring you earlier, but you know, problems. Oh, slightly interesting for once. Yeah, I'll tell you all about it, man. Oh, probably tomorrow. Kids in bed, are they? Is she? I'll oh, give her my biggest kiss, then. A what? A drawing. I can't wait. Look, uh, about Chuffy, is he so full right? Uh huh. What did the vet say? I can tell. Just cross your sir.
Uh, Brock? Oh, excuse the hands. I've been doing some dye tests. In very inadequate conditions. You, uh, you've never been to my place at Slough, have you? Yeah, that's hardly more than a shed. Mm. Mm. The interview chair. Do the test yourself. Or is that so? Make it a rule. Never delegate. A responsibility. No, never. No. Now I'm a plain nuts and bolts man. What? My own hands. I oh, am. Yeah. He'd like that. Who? Oh, Patrick. He was a nuts and bolts man himself. Started with electric irons. I oh, know. Yes, of course you do. It's a good ploy. <laughs> I don't like that word. Gambit, then. He, uh, <clears throat> he said we should have a talk. We're having it. Meaningful. No. Hmm? Not meaningful. Since we're being fussy about words, that's not one he uses. Oh, Brock, I need more working space. Now, this place you've got here is enormous. But I could just have a look round. Sorry? Some corner that you're not using. Not a right? chance. Well, let me tell you about my project. I know the then... world's first all-electronic washing machine. Domestic. Domestic. The first to sort its own wash and program itself. The first to sniff out items with non-fast dyes, etc., etc., etc. It'll et do et all that. When it works. It'll work. When it does. That triumph of over-sophistication will cost 900 nicker per machine, just to make. Now that is a lie. I've seen the costings. Where? Who showed them to you? Guess. No, we'll not beat old Nippon with the like of that at all, at all. He'd never say that. He did. He saw the point. This place is for fundamental research, not for patching duds. But he wouldn't have said me, Doc. Me yeah, to he... tell you? Yes, he would. He's got a kind heart. I haven't. Right, chat over. No, wait a minute, Bob. No you... more time. Look, just listen to me, like it. The nature of observed reality. That's what this program takes in. Old philosophy stuff. It might apply to her. Does she walk when there's nobody there? That's it. Makes a hell of a difference to the number of times. I mean, all those years when the house was empty. Our ah, version with added Stewart. Oh, no. I didn't spot that. I should have done it. I just didn't spot the connection. Well, let's have it, if this means anything. Oh, I'll run it again. Why? Oh, it's wrong. Why? It must be. No, no, no. It, it, I like it. It's got the makings. It's what you really wanted. You shaped it that way. I didn't. You couldn't help it, love. The old intuition right on that button. Oh, for pity's sake. Beautifully simple. No, no, I'll start again. Peter, it's the room. What? Just the room itself, nothing else. Well, do you mind telling me There how... is no ghost. Oh, come but on. I oh, heard it. it! All right, try this for size. The room holds an image. And when people go in there, they pick it up. What you hear or what you see is inside your own brain. Oh, oh no. That'd be why the sounds don't echo and why we can't locate them. That'd be why they don't record. No machine hears them. I got them on my head, folks. You got them in your head. What about the hot spots? Forget it, Eddie. I mean, the whole temperature thing. There isn't any. Look, I know when I'm the cold. The body's reaction like allergy and just as quick your whole physiology is affected. By what? By what's in there. But I thought you don't said... Don't you get it yet? It must act like a recording fixed in the floor and the walls. Right in the substance of them, a trace of what happened in there. And we pick it up. We act as detectors, decoders, amplifiers. A recording? It would have to be in the stone. I wonder. Some kind of natural process, yeah? But freaky. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps it only occurs under extreme conditions. Some kind of extreme human output, emotion, terror, and that prints off. Like the shadow of the people from the Big Bum Blast. And yeah. we're sensitive to it. Uh, what about me? You, you've got no playback. That's all some transistors missing. You're the exception that proves the rule, thank God. I'm waiting for the penny to drop. I mean, if, if, if I'm right, this could be it. The big one. A new recording medium. The boot in the guts of old Nippon. Woohoo! Oh, 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 you found it. Fantastic. Here's to the big one.
you are. It's all yours. Polly, we're wedding the head of an idea. It could be the big one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. More like kicking around the Rex Jackson into the human brain of both sound and vision. No intervening apparatus at all. I read about some research. The Japs, of course. The blind alley. They got nowhere. It's going to be ours all Hours. Television without the TV set, no box, not even a visor in front of the eyes. This is sort of clear. Yeah, costume jewellery, the 13 channel earring. I saw. Oh, under one nip on half red, great defeat. Go now, go now to cut. I'm going to be Benny. Oh, Barry, you can't say Benny. I can hey, say what I like. When it goes wrong with a cameraman, we'll have to operate on your head. Hey, yes. don't mention that. Not in the sales brochure. Let's keep it positive. Right. Coronation Street, double your money. Come dancing, war and peace. Porn Channel 1, Porn Channel 2. That's all right. Channel 10, Home Doctor, a picture of the laughing. Uh, do it yourself. Urban gorillas. Hey, hey, what's the matter? Hello! Who? Oh, it is. Helen, yeah. Helen! It's just. Hang on. I'll take it in the other one. Shut up a bit. Shut up a bit. Yeah, okay, put him through. I'm entering you earlier. I told Crawshaw all the facts of life as I gathered you wanted me to. Yeah. Did he now? Give him time, he'll get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's what you've always said. Fundamental research or nothing. Surely that's all settled. Patrick. Come on, come on. Patrick, look here. Look, the proof of it is... And I'll listen, though. Patrick, will you listen to me? I think we've got it. Well, the, the big one. Yes! Yes! Kentish rag. What? It's called Kentish rag, ragstone. It's a kind of green sand. Is it rare? Good grief, no. It's been quarried ever since Roman times. Used all over the south of England. Most of medieval London is built of this stuff. Better and better. How? Oh. Could explain a lot of ghost stories. Oh, I'll see what you mean. Collie, it all keeps clicking together. Of a I seem to be getting words. Yes, words. I wanted to. It couldn't make them out. Vibration. You game to go on? Without Eddie. Where is Eddie? He's gone to find some special triodes. Oh. <laughs> Collie, you help out. I'll do my best. We'll show you how. How long do you as long to... as it takes? All right. Get your stuff set up. Jill, Stu, should we make a night of it? Okay, Pete. What do you want to do? Get control. Not yet. How could we possibly? The essence of experiment, Jilly. Put it to the proof. Frequency? 740. Right. Give me that. Ten seconds. And another ten. Well? We haven't enough data. We're getting data all the time and building stew.
Back to the steps. Laser, plus sound. Cut them! Right. Run number 17, laser, plus five second burst. Peter, what's the use? We're on the right track. Just keep going. You've had a response. No! But we've heard it twice tonight. Not because of anything we did. It didn't relate. It's got to relate, Collie. Oh. All right. All right, break for ten minutes. I'll get some coffee up. Just another hour. If we don't get anything by then. Bear with me. You're the captain. I think you're right. It's a vibration thing. I oh, know it is. But, Peter, it'll take huge programs to analyse it. Of course. I'd like to develop them. Fine. Thing. Well, then, why this, tonight? I've got to know. Peter, I don't think any of us is quite... Well, we've all been under a strain these days here. The more rational we've tried to What are to you be, driving at? Well, we're all past it. Not me, love. Yes, you. No, don't say that. Don't do it. I've got a feeling about this. You get this... Exact grip on a thing, this clarity what have only... you promised, Ryan? Nobody? Oh, what's the use? Nerves jangled. What do you think? That may be good. That's so, there. Pray. Prayer. It's in the computer! No! It is! It is! Bloody it is fool! Do you picked up words? You got words yourself, that's how it works, I told you! Then it is! Do you, do you know what he's done? 
He's wiped the tape! All right. Leave it at that. We might try another run tomorrow. Run what? She's gone! Morning, Miss Greeley. Or should I say good afternoon? That's up to you. Please. Look, Patrick, I'm sorry if I gave the impression that we... Yes, well, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 I'm not bucking down at all. I just don't want you wasting your time coming down here when we... <sighs> I've got every confidence. I know we're on the track of it, it's just a matter of getting the bugs out, it's all. <laughs> As usual. What? Well, of course you've got a right to know. It's a mineral medium. Now, uh, uh, don't pin me down, Patrick. I can't be more specific at this moment of time. Patrick, please, I... Right. It's... It's a variation of Eddie Holmes' digital crystal. In fact, that may turn out to be it after all. I, I just can't give a more technical explanation right now. Yes, of course I will, Patrick. Of course. Yeah. Bye. Don't say anything. It's over, it's finished. If I can just walk away from this one. I... He's a funny man. You never quite know what he's... You can't tell from his voice. Just as long as he doesn't... Oh, he's devious, of course, but what the hell? I've seen him be treacherous. And not to anybody that he really... No. No, he wouldn't. effect was, it's obviously gone. We're good. Obliterated. Yes. Now we've had time to take it in. I'm glad it's, uh, it's what I wanted to do in the first place. Oh, come on, oh. Peter. I'll be fair, I did. So, just let's regard it as a bit of a nonsense, part of the house warming. It got out of hand, I plead guilty. Now the room is clear, we can set it up for computer storage and get on. I've been working on the new schedules. No problem, sir. What is it? Where's it to go, sir?
Crawshaw. The old bastard did it. He's putting him in here. Ready for my data, Stuart? Yeah, just clearing the decks. Well, after the other night. Yeah. Get rid of it. Things are now. Get rid of it fast. Stu, if she simply fell. What have you got there? The words that came through. Why these words? Pray, so, pray again, prayer, save. They're nothing to do with falling off steps. Oh, forget it. Save. From what? Chill, forget it. The others. I'm going to show him this. Oh, not Peter. Of course. No, love, not today. What? Well, oh, Crawshaw, the great invasion. Oh, yes. Filthy dump. <laughs> hey, Joe, have you seen this location of the store core unit? Yeah. I've got something I want to show you. The other night. Oh, no, no, no. The word. I don't want to see. I don't want to know. Yeah, just yeah. a minute. Um, which, uh, which, uh, around the bottom Stay out of this room, it's the association. It wasn't her. Keep out of here. Peter, you've got to listen to me. Things went too far. My fault. I know it was. Go home and you've got to rest and whine. Go home and take it easy. Peter. Can't have you cracking up. Now, will you do that for me? Huh? Time. He's right, Jill. When they come, they're not allowed in this room under any circumstances at all. Do you get that? Yes. Right. Mr. Rock, there you are. I've tracked down that exorcism. What? I, I went to the museum. Oh, not now. And there it was. Colly Coke, will you please go? It, it wasn't easy to discover. It's very kind of you, very helpful, but just at the moment I've got business. Well, Brock. <laughs> this way. That, that really was a little short. You said, um, an exorcism? Yes. Well, he knows about it. Oh, we had the documents. 1892. Wait, no, no. It was. 1760. 1760? The house wasn't built then. Indeed not. There was just some sort of ruin here. Nevertheless, there had been uh, complaints, so uh, a service was performed. Quite useless, apparently. That's if you accept there'd been anything there in the first place. About tackling mine, Jill. Give me a chance, Eddie. Hey, what is this? Can't say don't let Peter see that. We've got work to do. Soon, Eddie. I give up. Well? It's the concept of a tape that's wrong. 
More like a, a great depth, a core. Or the stone. He erased her, but she was only in the surface layer, the most recent. Of 1890. Recent? There'd be much older impressions underneath. Much deeper. How far are you trying to go back? A long way. I fleet an office. Do what I can. I've got a great deal of paperwork to do. Costing? Peter, have you got a moment? Oh, this is Joel Grayley who programs our computer, William Crawshaw. Ah, I shall have need of you, young lady. You Your little machine. Peter, Listen, I got that crack about costing. Now, this machine of mine is viable, and I am going to prove it. What do they think they're doing? Colours like that. Oh, my wife's old machine had just spit about naturally. <laughs> oh, yeah, those blokes are curious. They're telling me. No, 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 no. I mean, one of them said, what was this about a ghost? Now, you be careful. Oh, yeah, don't worry, I was. Jill? Jill? Let's keep working Jonathan. on that room. I'm glad to say. Nobody thinks there's anything wrong. Well, not now. Chill. There must be a... a decay. What? What decays, Jill? Whatever's stored in the stone, the recording. Otherwise, it'd be like perpetual motion, an impossibility. It would have to corrode and lose definition. Over a long enough period, it would have to. But then if you boosted it... Collie, I think that's what he's done. Boosted? Some... deep level record. Much older. So old. And shapeless. Jill, there's nothing. I know there is. Remember I'm on your side. You're not any longer. And sit down and talk. Am I the only one? Collie. Am I? Jill. <sighs> full facilities, he said, and full facilities I will have, and I'll accept nothing less. And you can stick that up, you... Make some coffee, will you? Peter, I've got to talk to you. It's what I think it Even is. Even if it is. You won't give up, will you? You started this whole thing and you're going to keep it going. You're determined. You're getting to enjoy it. Enjoy? Well, not, not healthy, yum yum enjoy. Some people like to destroy people, Gillian. You're turning into one. If you can't take me from my family, it's got to be destruction. It's not true. That, that creature who went out here just now, that, that baboon with the dyed hands, he's got his foot on my neck through you. Peter, you were right about the recording. There are more things on it. Oh, no, no. I can prove it. Oh, sweetie, you're into fantasies. You've got to listen to me. Unless we're careful, you could get very, very sick. You're going on leave. For a month. No. No, make it two months, starting now. I can't. Stu can take over. He knows the computer. And he's level-headed. He's up to it. Peter! Oh. I'm on rest now. Louisa! 
This hour. I think she's having a breakdown. Yes. I'll send her on leave. When? Today, I told her to go. Just like that, just go? Well, what else? If you feel strongly about it, go with her. Take Jill? Yes. You've been under a bit of a strain here lately, all this extra work. Spot her leaves what you both need, so why not the pair of you? Hmm? Get it all out of your system.
you know why the fancy stuff did out of that cocktail cabinet in the office? Get some stuff put in there. And I want a new fridge in there as well. What was it? Accidental death. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Brock, those environment chaps have been back looking for you. Oh. Clapping a preservation order on that room, are they? <laughs> Pleased with the verdict? Why did you have to say all that? About her? Her mental state? They had to know. Did they? Look, it wasn't just a fall that did it, they knew that. They said shock, total inhibition. It's when your whole system packs up. She brought it on herself. I'll go and get my lab coat, Stuart. You were lucky. What's he doing in there? Just what I was told, sir. Ask Mr. Brock. We had to get rid of it. Boy, that's what she'd just been working on. It had to go. Not suppressing anything. Not evidence. It's all computer language. It's all of work. Leave it to me. Hmm? Eddie. Mad stuff, Collie. It's gone now. You saw it? Well, you wouldn't understand it. 7,000 years, it said. I mean, insane stuff. <laughs> oh. Look here, sir. <coughs> you all right, sir? Oh, you? Look at these Shocking, neighbor. Shocking. Mr. Collinson, too. What are you doing about him, sir? Made off, has he, sir? Disgraceful. Sure, all right now, sir. Uh, oh, before I forget, sir, them conservation inspectors was here again. Yes. In there a long time, they was. They said there would be a summons. And before they went, one of them said, did you know about the room? What? Just that, sir. What did they mean? That's all, sir. Just, did you know about the room? Feel okay now, sir? Yes, thanks. You can go. Thank you, sir. Good night. 